leathers to show you. I'm sorry it's only a couple uh, at this point. The, uh, the boat finally got in from Italy and there was only one that I really uh, liked the, the look of. So I'll, I'll show you that one. Uh, and then I have another new leather. Uh, I uh, really haven't come up with a name for it yet and we'll talk about that in a minute. So the first one here I want to show you. Actually, it's quite, quite beautiful. Really nice texture, nice color. Uh, the, the color variation is from a dark to maybe a, a little bit lighter, but actually it's quite, quite even all the way around and uh, very pliable, very soft, really a beautiful color. So I, I feel this is going to make some really wonderful looking uh, notebooks. Okay, so this is the first one. Now. Like I said, I haven't come up with a name for this yet. Okay. Beautiful leather. So uh, we'll be probably introducing this in the Etsy store, I would say, maybe, maybe in a week or so. We have to make uh, some prototypes uh, and some product photos so we can list it in the shop and then uh, it will be uh, up for sale. So I'm really happy with this one. I really love the, the look of it and, and the feel. Okay, so that's, that's this one. You can see beautiful inside also, not just outside. Then here's the, I really feel this is beautiful leather. It's from Italy. And this was colored by a master dyer. They call them master dyers. So it's some, some guy who's been doing this for a long time. And uh, he colored this and I think really did a wonderful job. I, I kind of call this a, it's a blue green. Actually, I wanted to get one blue and one green, but they come up, uh, he come up with uh, this uh, blue green. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, it's it's pliable but it's not as pliable as the uh, the other one i showed you uh, this morning but look look at the color on this and this also has some uh, texture going on there so i feel this is really going to be a beautiful uh beautiful leather for naked cows notebooks now <clears throat> this is all i saw uh in this first shipment that came in actually the boat was delayed for about three weeks that's why it took so long to uh make a video on this. This style, uh, because it's not done by me, it's done by uh, a master in Italy. If it's uh, successful, if it's popular, I have the opportunity to order uh, other colors. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, run this one first and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. If successful, this style, this color, because it's not a solid color, as you can see, it's kind of kind of has a marbling effect to it. Really, really beautiful. So if it's successful, I can go ahead and uh, maybe uh, uh, order some uh, different colors in this style. Now, uh, give you guys a little bit of excitement this morning. I I haven't chosen a color for this or for this uh, other leather here so i'm asking uh, all my friends in the naked cow uh, notebook fan club look at this leather on the video and give me uh, an idea for a name so i'm not going to name this i'll let my friends on naked cow name it so please submit your names to the facebook group and uh, i'll i'll probably uh about a week we'll run it for about a week whichever name I choose for this beautiful blue green uh, the person uh, who uh, gives me that uh, that winning name will get a free personal notebook uh, made from this leather and uh, I'll also include a uh, palette petite uh, fountain pen and then the same with this one if you can uh, look at this and maybe uh, give me uh, a nice name for this then the person whose uh, name is the winner, I will also cut them a personal notebook from this leather.
and include a, a Palo Petit fountain pen. Okay, so just a, a little bit of excitement and also get the, get the juices flowing uh, to give me a good, good name on this. All right, so I, I think I'll let it run for about a week and then I'll, uh, whoever comes up with the uh, good name, I'll of course contact them and, and tell them. All right, so sorry, sorry I don't have more leathers, but I will, there will be more leathers coming in the future, but right now, uh, these, these are the two that I'm going to uh, be putting in the Etsy store very, very, very shortly. Then also, uh, I would say in about uh, a week, we'll have the uh, new Hobonichi cover coming out. And I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, right now, I've just made the uh, A5 Hobonichi. So we're gonna see <clears throat> if that's successful, if the, uh, the, the styling and all that, if it's useful, people like it. If they do, if it's acceptable to the customer, uh, and to my Naked Cow friends out there, uh, I will go ahead and uh, uh, complete the A6 and also the Weeks version of the Hobonichi cover, okay? But first, I'm just going to uh, put out the uh, A5. And then also, we have uh, another new product coming out. Um, <clears throat> it's so difficult now for the uh, Traveler Notebook uh, makers like myself, and uh, there's so many others out there. Uh, normally I will ask the customer how many inserts are you going to use in your uh, notebook uh, even if they tell me how many they're going to use a lot of times once they get the notebook uh, there will still be some uh, overhang uh, depending on actually if they if they put more than what they told me they were going to put inside so I've come up with a solution for that I think uh, this, uh, this new style Midori, I'm not going to show you or introduce you yet, but I'm just going to tell you about it. Uh, we will never have an overhang problem again, as long as I know how many inserts you're going to use and how thick those inserts are going to be. There will never be an overhang problem again. So I feel this is a very, uh, actually it's a very cool solution. The styling will be, uh, the styling, the look is different than a traditional traveler's notebook look. And that will get, you know, make you guys uh, uh, think a little bit. What, what, what could I be coming up with there? But I feel it's a cool solution. So I'll be uh, introducing that uh, shortly. I think probably after the Hobonichi, after I present the Hobonichi and uh, show it to you guys, the uh, the new style uh, Midori will be uh, coming out, and I'll make a video on it. Now, this new uh, this new styled Midori Traveler's Notebook, Midori style Traveler's Notebook, it will be in addition to the traditional Traveler's Notebook. Uh, it's, I'm not going to replace my whole line of uh, Traveler's Notebooks. So you can have the option of choosing this uh, new style, or just stay with the, the traditional style. Okay, so. A lot of things going on, a lot of things going on. Ah, also, Chinese New Year is coming to Taiwan. So Chinese New Year uh, will run from February 9th to uh, February 18th. And I just want to let you guys know the mail system will shut down for about nine days. Uh, I can still take the orders, I can still uh, process the orders, make the notebooks, but I cannot ship anything for a period of about nine days from February 9th to uh, about the uh, 18th of February. So please keep that in mind when you're ordering, okay? All right, that, that, that's all I wanted to say today. Two new leathers. I feel very beautiful leathers. This one and uh, this beautiful uh, Italian hand rub. And I'll be uh, waiting anxiously to see uh, some good names come out for these two, okay? So put your thinking cap on and uh, try to give me a good name for this stuff. All right, that's about all I want to say. This video is already too long, I know that. So I will talk to you guys later, okay? Bye-bye.